All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Hello, everybody. Woo. Happy Friday. We're a day late recording because, uh, yeah, that job thing that I do. <laughs> on a day late. Right? I actually went to the office yesterday for the first time in three years. So Crazy. it was kind of cool. Uh, we had a good time. It was only two of us. It was my coworker, me, and we talked to the facilities person up front. That was in the entire building. It was like uh, wow. the day after a zombie apocalypse, really. <laughs> Seriously. And did you had you met that employee before, or was this the first time? Oh yeah, we know we've known each other for years. It's the first time I've seen Tim oh, okay. in three years. We've worked together oh, okay. for ten years. And it was the first mm-hmm. time I've seen him since we locked down for the pandemic on March ninth of uh, March thirteenth, twenty twenty. That's when we shut wow. down. Wow. So uh, yeah, that's yeah. crazy. And then we saw the facilities person. Her name is Sandy. And I walked in. I said, Sandy, I didn't know you still work here. <laughs> oh, uh, it was actually really nice. We got a lot done. Yeah. It was good to be out of the house, leave the house and the dogs and just, you know, kind of go into the office. Just a change of, of scenery. I don't think I would want to do it anymore full time because I was exhausted after the day yesterday and then being at choir rehearsal. But um, anyway. Yeah. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the First United Methodist Church of Loomis. I'm Ray. We've got Allison down on the bottom square. Hello. Uh, Melanie on the other side. Uh, our senior Howdy. And then our Deacon of Christian Education. And uh, we're here to talk to you. So, hi. Hi. <laughs> so we are a day late because of, of the job thing. And actually, and a dollar short. And it always a dollar short. <laughs> 10 or 15 and we're short. losing our minds because we're <laughs> week. Yes, actually i've lost it i i just lost. <laughs> that was a short trip for me yeah. <laughs> very short trip to me for me we yeah, had some we... staff bonding and sharing before yes. <laughs> <laughs> but we do have holy week coming up the week after next and we're going oh crap it's here already wow yeah. so uh but we got so much to talk about um we don't have any special guests today so, um, but we will talk really quick about last week and we had the story of the blind man being healed. And honestly, uh, I thought it was a good service. The, the choir anthem that we did give me Jesus. Uh-huh. Beautiful. I absolutely yeah. love that piece. And I I've heard that hymn all my life, but I have never heard an arrangement like mm-hmm. that before. And Martin and, and, and conducting the choir, we got so such good sounds out of them that, on that song. It was great. Um, we had, uh, a boy band with, uh, with the celebration <laughs> the team last band. week. Um, we not in sync. We were the kitchen sink. And, uh, <laughs> I want to see some dance moves the next time. Oh. Boy band, you know, we need to throw <laughs> in a little bit of, you know, spin arounds and Plus some dance moves. Yeah. yeah. And we didn't have Damien cause he's, he's gone for a couple of weeks. So I was on the guitar and standing up and singing, which was actually a lot of fun, but, um, I'm looking forward to having him back. Uh, I don't think he's back this week. No. No, it's the following week he's back. Um, and that was about it. I thought the sermon was good. I thought everything went well about the service. And it's really interesting because I've heard, you know, the story of the blind man and being healed and everything. And people think automatically that's what the story is about. Uh-huh. But mm-hmm. it really took on a whole to the new dimension this week. Yeah, uh, because it's about, it's, the, squabbling. It's about the, the squabbling and the Pharisees and yeah. them put, trying to pin all these different crimes, I guess, for lack of a better word, or sins yeah. on Jesus for healing mm-hmm. on the Sabbath. Um, and for, you know, the, the blind man himself, they put him on trial. Yeah. So and the parents and the were like, parents. I love the parents' response. Don't ask us. Ask him. He's exactly. of age. Exactly. So, <laughs> I'm gonna start saying that about my kids. <laughs> That's yeah. them. I don't know. They're big. They're grown. <laughs> they are grown. <laughs> Your kids so, are grown up. <laughs> so that was last week. This coming week, we have the raising of the dead, Lazarus, and we were just joking about the zombie apocalypse. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Lazarus comes back from the dead. So, and it's another long scripture. Oh, yes, it is. You could do the message if you Yeah, want. it's like, uh, well, I gave Frank the new revised. Okay, and that's okay. I, I, okay. I looked at it. It didn't look too bad. It's like 40 or 41 verses. 45. 
45. 45. Holy, holy. John 11, 1 through 45. Oh, my they goodness. Well, thanks, Frank. <laughs> they do every week. It's like. Uh, but the choir anthem is we're, we're doing um, Guide My Feet, Lord. And uh, opening him, we're kind of taking it down a little bit this week. Come and find the quiet center. Oh, nice. Okay. And we're closing okay. with how firm a foundation. So I think I should show a clip from Monty Python. Bring out your dead. <laughs> well, I'm not dead yet. Right? <laughs> you are now. Monty Python is always good for me. I know we don't, well, people of certain ages who grew mm -hmm. up and Monty Python came out with uh, in the, what, 70s? Yeah, the with, circus. Uh, yeah, with, but the movie, um, Life of Brian. Life of Brian. Life of Brian is the best. We should show that in the sanctuary sometime. I know. Oh, we should. It would we, be such a fun was, movie night. There was so much controversy over that film when it came out. I'm, you know, oh, I bet. People were boycotting it and and protesting it. And then I saw it on like HBO back in like 1981, 82. And I was like, what was all the hubbub about, bub? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I showed Cooper a couple years ago, maybe during the pandemic. He and I watched okay. it and he laughed so hard the entire time. He loved it. I, I oh, did. I, I love that movie. There's no mess in here. There's no Messiah in here. There's a mess in here, but there's no Messiah. <laughs> yeah. oh, that we whole could do movie. a movie night and show that. How much fun would so that be? Fun. Uh, we might have to clip one scene where he opens the window. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I think that would be inappropriate for church. But... Okay, now I'm just realizing I'm a terrible mom. <laughs> <laughs> but, you are uh... the best mom. <laughs> You're the best mom but ever. I, I love that movie. I just absolutely love that movie. And them singing Always Look on the Bright Side of Life at the end of it. When he's James hanging on the cross. Yes. James and I sing that song around the house every once in a while when things go bad. Always look on the bright side of life. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, yes. And his mom's yelling at him. So, yes. Can you all watching tell that we are getting into our Holy Week mentality? <laughs> we are what? losing it. But... <laughs> Uh, what do we got to talk about? There's a lot of mm -hmm. events happening at the church, but uh, mm -hmm. Melanie, you, you had something you want to talk about coming up? Yes. On April 16th, after worship, we have um, Sergeant Kevin Keith from the Placer County Sheriff's Office coming to do a training and it's a safety training. It's called ALICE and it's a, what do you call it? A acronym. <laughs> acronym. Acronym. Thank you. And I honestly don't remember <laughs> what it's for, uh, what it, what each one is for. Um, but it's modern, uh, I say modern, the latest safety procedures for when you have a suspicious person on campus or an active shooter. And I hate that we have to say that out loud and that we have to say it out loud in the sanctuary and that we have to talk about it, but we do. Yeah. We have to get those procedures lined out. Um, we did a walkthrough with him um, a month or so ago, and the the things that he shared with us that we never in a million years would have thought of, we learned so much just through a walkthrough. So um, it'll be after worship. Lunch is provided. Everybody is invited. Um, I'm requiring my child care workers to be there. They're all going to be there. Uh, Sunday school teachers, uh, leadership trustees, especially because they'll have to make some modifications to our buildings and things like that. Ushers, greeters, Ray, if you can come, mm -hmm. Mark, it, anybody who is a worship leader that has a view of the front door while you're up there and AV, everybody has a, a special job <laughs> that they would do in the event that something like this happens. So anyway, Sergeant Kevin Keith is going to come. He'll do a presentation for about an hour. And then we're going to do another walkthrough just for anybody who wants to hear, you know, what needs to happen. So it would be great if as many people as possible could come to that hour presentation of what he, you know, needs to, to teach us. Because the rules have totally changed from when we were all kids. Oh. Duck, cover, or do, It's completely different now because... There have been so many school shootings. They have refined the art of how to keep yourself safe during a shooting. Yeah. How ridiculous is that? But we have those at work. Any of us think it is. And so yeah. it was kind of like, oh, OK, it's essential we do this training. So an hour after church and then anybody who wants to stay to do the walkthrough of the building and get some ideas 
Um, but anyway, I'm going to have just sandwiches and um, anybody and everybody can attend and should attend. Yeah, absolutely. And we it's required for us when we were in the office to go through these trainings too. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. So, and it's, I mean, it's a sad state of affairs because even, you know, mm-hmm. school kids, elementary school kids have to go through <laughs> active tutor, shooter tra- drills now. So yeah, well, they can essentially teach the class, right? Yeah. And how horrible, like in light of what's happened to one of our colleagues uh, in yes. Limit, who's getting yes. desperate yep. because he supports an LGBTQIA like support group. Yeah. 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 And, and that's going to trickle around. Yeah. It's time we get on top of it. It just yeah. really, and I think I want to stress that when we think of this, I think, you know, our generations think of this as like, keep the kids safe. But when you think about it, the kids are going to be in the classrooms and we need to figure out what to do about that. But the sanctuary is where all the grownups are. And that's most likely where an event would occur. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's so important that the adults know what's happening and, and how to respond. Well, and way to go, Melanie, for getting on top of this. Like you brought this up months ago, so uh, it's it's good and timely. So thank you. Well, it's well, thank you. It, it's um, coming from my anger of opening my phone and reading the news every day, and watching my kids for years. I have prayed when I drop off my kids at school, please not today. Yeah. Please not today. As I watched Cooper's little red backpack when he was in elementary school, I would watch his little red backpack walk off towards the school and down the hill. And I would just pray every time, please not today. Yeah. Um, so I'm just angry. And so <laughs> I want us to be as, as on top of it as we possibly can um, to keep our people safe. You know, I There was a thing on Twitter today. Today's the eighth anniversary of one of the big shootings, and I can't remember which one off the mm. top of my head. And the father posted a picture of his son that was on the way to church, to school that morning. Mm. And so those things break my heart. So Yeah. And as you all know, I haven't shared this with everybody, but the two of you know, like there was one day I wasn't on the podcast because there was a threat to one of the Davis schools and all and the kids early. About- Five, six weeks ago. Yeah. 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 Last night I got an email from the school district saying there was a threat against Cooper's school. The police, you know, dug around and said, no, it's not a credible threat, but we'll have police on campus. So I had to tell Cooper there's going to be police on your campus today. It's ridiculous. Yep. He's 14. He doesn't need to worry about that. No, no. And I, you know, I don't ever remember worrying about that in high school Mm. or elementary school. Well, we did have the duck and cover because it was the Cold War. Mm-hmm. I don't know tornadoes and yeah. <laughs> oh, we had those too North Carolina yeah so. yeah <laughs> uh, so we're not going to go through all of the announcements that are in the lantern this week um, they are out there for you to read I did want to let Melanie talk about the training that's coming up on the 16th um, is there anything else that we want to bring up um, oh yes uh, I have a message from Sue. Um, okay. So she wanted me to remind everyone the pledge drive for humanity bags is going on until the end of March. So people still have time to give. And the youth are hosting a spaghetti lunch right after church this Sunday. Mm-hmm. So it's a big ending to celebrate the humanity bags pledge drive. And it gives people another opportunity if if they decline, to, if they desire to give, not decline. Listen to me. I'm losing my mind. <laughs> <laughs> no need to RSVP. No tickets are needed to go. There will be an opportunity for people to help fill the bags and mm-hmm. a $1 suggested donation for a raffle for homemade desserts and treats. So Very the youth cool. are looking forward to seeing everyone there. So yay. And a big thank you to Pat Aiello, who has tracked down bread from Panera or somewhere. Yeah, Panera does it. Yeah. Yeah. And he tracked down all the bread for it and found donations for different um for the pasta and, and things like that. So big thank you to Pat for, for helping with that. I might have to do something. That is, he's always figuring out how to feed people. I was gonna say when it, when yeah. it comes to food, you talk you talk to Pat. Mm-hmm. Got it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I might have to do big ziti. <laughs> You've made big ziti for me and James before. Yeah. Was, when the it's first time delicious. Dinner, yeah, it was good. Heart attack in a dish. Yeah. <laughs> um, 
There is a note in the lantern I thought we could uh, bring everybody's attention to about the endowment grants. So we've got mm, funds yes. available in 2023 for grants to fund actions that enhance our vision of following Jesus by worshiping God, deepening faith, serving others, reaching out. So this application form is available in the church office, and you can contact Rich Colwell or Sharon for more for the have the forms emailed to you. Um, there are specific rules on what the, the grant funds can be used for. So all of that is in the lantern. Take a look at it if you're interested in applying. The deadline is noon on April 28th, 2023. Mm, okay. So, so whole month of April. Okay. Whole month of April. Um, And we've got the golf tournament coming up, which was a wonderful little skit that we had on Sunday with Rich <laughs> and um, Sandy Trapo. Mm -hmm. Um, I think that's about all that I wanted to call out. We do have the Easter flowers form still in there. The bullet, the deadline for inclusion in the bulletin is on day April 2nd. Oh, so, and we need volunteers on Saturday before Easter to, yeah. oh, right. yes, to um, get the cross ready. We have that cross where we put the flowers in there. We need to, you know, just set up. So we need help with flowers for the altar so if you have a hidden talent for flowers please come to church that saturday we'll probably meet around nine o'clock but i'll get the time so next week. i i will tell a little secret when james and i had our 10-year vow renewal party uh at the house i bought a bunch of flowers and i watched a youtube video on how to arrange them <laughs> And they turned out great. I had a lot of people, you know, commenting on how they turned out. There was a YouTube channel that teaches how to arrange flowers. So, okay, because I'm horrible. So, so if I'm alone, that's if an I'm idea. Alone, if I'm alone with worship team, that's what we'll do. Yeah, there you go. But seriously, okay. it, it, it was great. I learned a lot, and yeah, um, but it's one of those things. And people said, oh, who did your flowers? I said, oh, I did. Okay. <laughs> My job oh. all through high school was delivering flowers for a local flower shop, the people oh. at our church. And so as a teenager, that was my job. Um, and it was the best job I've ever had because everybody's happy to see you coming. When you have flowers in your hand and you go into their door, they're so happy to see you. It's the best job ever. Yep. Um, we do have... Me about that Melanie I remember that Melanie my favorite job yeah uh, my favorite job was actually waiting tables mm. believe it or not I don't know why I I just I had the best boss and I had the the best it was all the regulars that would come mm -hmm. in and um I, I got to learn how to bartend and everything there I, it was just a wonderful little place I was working only worked there for like a year and a half and we were like a little family I loved that job Absolutely I can lovely. see how you would because you're so good with people. Like I just it's in a good way. You know how to schmooze with people. I mean that in a good way, in a very positive way. Well, and Get I to love know people kind of thing. Getting to know the people and mm -hmm. seeing my regulars all the time. You know, it was mm -hmm. tears. Norm, hi. You know, it yeah, was that yeah. kind of atmosphere. Mm -hmm. And I just loved it, even though I was on my feet for hours and hours and hours, but I was mm -hmm. only in my mid-20s, so it didn't really matter. Mm -hmm. It's probably why I was so thin in my twenties. Um, <laughs> we do have the list of Holy Week services coming up and it's going to be a busy week. Um, the three of us are going to be at the church a lot. <laughs> so, uh, Palm Sunday is April 2nd, uh, at nine 30 in the morning. Um, we have a lot of stuff going on for Palm Sunday. There's music and all this stuff going on during the service that it, it's always a meaningful service for Palm Sunday. We have the kids that do the march uh, as we sing Hosanna, loud Hosanna. Uh, we close out the service with Via Dolorosa. Unfortunately, Bonnie's not going to be with us this year, but I'm going to end up doing it. Um, but yeah. And then there's the come to the table dinner at 5 p.m. that same day. Mm -hmm. uh, we have Amandi. Oh, my group. My yes. group. Carol, Nilai is doing the cooking. It's going to be lumpia mm -hmm. and chicken adobo. Mm -hmm. I'm yeah. so yum. Oh. yum 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 yum. Um, 
So Thursday the 6th, we do have a Tuesday service at 6 o'clock, uh, which is a contemplative can- candlelit service of prayer, scripture, and songs, and communion. Mm-hmm. Um, it's probably my favorite service of the year. Mm-hmm. Me too. And all of us will be involved, plus Martin, plus Pat, plus Zeke is reading scripture, plus some of the teenagers are going to be involved in the service, uh, serve communion. So and it'll I, be a cool I, service. And then Martin and I end up having to stay for choir re- uh, rehearsal. Yeah. That. So the yeah. service is cut pretty short. It's it's only like forty five mm-hmm. minutes. Yeah. But um, it is a it's a beautiful and memorable service. Like I said, it's my favorite of the year. Then we of course we have Good Friday on April seventh at seven p.m. Um, we were looking at music for that this week, and uh, uh, the choir is going to sing. And um. Allison and I have been talking about what else we're going to have for that service. We haven't finalized it yet, but we're still working on it. Um, and then, of course, April 9th is Easter Sunday. We have the worship service at 930 a.m. And Melanie, I have a note. You're going to have an Easter egg hunt during Godly Play. Yes, we are. The older kids are go- like my faith exploration class. Middle schoolers are going to hide all the eggs um, while I tell the Godly Play story to the littles. And then after they have hidden everything and I'm looking around this room and it is covered with Easter egg filler stuff (laughs) Andy, and all that stuff you put in Easter eggs I can barely walk for all the boxes uh yeah that'll be during godly play so um Allison during your sermon I'll be out looking for Easter eggs (laughs) (laughs) I think I'll let all the adults out go (laughs) oh that would be so sad Mm. little kids crying I didn't get right give me my eggs eggs (laughs) <laughs> yeah. Y'all are running like, off with armfuls. <laughs> I'll be like, you snooze, you lose, kid. <laughs> <laughs> Lesson in life. <laughs> Toughen up. <laughs> um, yeah, they'll I, be pushing you down. Move it, old man. <laughs> Martin told me that uh several people went to his concert last weekend with the master singers. I heard it was really, really good. Good. I wish good. I could have gone. But unfortunately I couldn't. Um, I was gonna ask if either of you had a chance to go or I didn't. So um, I did hear that it was really good. So sorry, I missed it. And I know he's got a lot of upcoming concerts too. So anything else you want to announce? Because that's all I've got. Um, any other big things going on we need to be bringing up? Okay. I mean, there's a lot. <laughs> yeah. Besides, we're both, well, all three of us are looking at uh, when can we take time off? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow? <laughs> no, I have to set up tables. <laughs> yeah. Um, soccer every weekend, all weekend is soccer for the next many weeks. So, um, I Cooper has told- a soccer game on Mother's Day, Sunday morning, Mother's Day. What? What? That's crazy. Like, I know, I know. Well, part of it is that we've had to reschedule so many games because of the rain that they're looking for any time they can. Okay. And there's another big storm coming in next week, Tuesday, Wednesday. <sighs> Um, yeah, I heard four to six feet of snow in the in the mountains and uh, up to an inch of rain in some areas of the valley. So, oh my gosh, get that ark, start yeah. building. And we've got uh, here at our house, we've got uh, roofers and well, solar people are coming out on the Sunday after or the Monday after Easter to take the solar panels off, so the roofers can come in the next day and and fix our leak. So, wow. Um. I did talk to Bert Smith. Uh, uh, mm-hmm. For those of you who know Bert and Bob Smith, uh, Bob passed away, and there's a graveside service for him next Tuesday, March 28th at 2 p.m. at the Roseville Cemetery Cemetery on Berry Street. Um, I was hoping we were trying to get it arranged so I could be there to sing, but I can't. So unfortunately, that's not going to happen. But um, that was sent to me just a few minutes ago. Mm-hmm. Um uh, that's it uh, for uh, all of the announcements for joys and concerns. If we're ready to move into that, I've got those listed from Sharon about an hour ago. Um, Jerry and Sue Angove's neighbor, Babe, had a massive stroke on March 5th and is not doing well in recovery. Um, Bob Kurtz is now going through chemo. Mm-hmm. and haven't heard any updates on him, how he's doing. Uh, Linda West is recovering from hip replacement. Oh, she's she's out and about. I saw her. She's oh, fine. Oh, good. Yeah, um, good. she was at Helen's ninetieth birthday party. Helen Bride oh, celebrated good her big birthday. 
So happy bir- belated birthday, Helen. Happy belated happy birthday, birthday, Helen. Helen. Um, uh, Joy's Jerry and Sue Angove have a fourth grand niece, Cora. She was born in San Diego on March 13th. And Pat Aiello is pleased with the response for reservations for garden beds. Um, several yeah. beds have been reserved, so contact mm-hmm. Pat still if you're interested. Uh, and I get updated pictures from my new grand niece every day, and she's just adorable. Nice. And I keep telling everybody she's named after me. Her name is Raina. I keep going, oh, she's named after me. No, she's not. You know, I actually wondered, I wondered that when I saw her name on your Facebook. I wondered if. No, she's not named after me. I think she's named after um, the father, uh, Jared's, I don't know, somebody on his family, I think was named Raina. I think they spell it different, but I'm not quite sure. Uh, let's say it's you. Okay. Let's yeah, just... let's just say it's me. She looks like me with the bald head and everything. She's really <laughs> well, it means queen in Spanish. Yeah. So. Oh, okay. But um, I haven't met. <laughs> I haven't met Jared before. Uh, I think he and Haley have been together for like a year and a half. They, I think they met after my brother passed away, which has been about a year and a half ago. Oh, okay. So, um, but they hit it off and they're together. And yeah, mm-hmm. adorably. They're just adorable cute couple. I love them both. Um, but that's all that I've got for joys and concerns. Unless you guys have anything else you want to add. Today is my mother's, would have been my mother's 84th birthday. Mm. So, um, yeah, so I always have to send her a wish for happy birthday. Mm-hmm. So happy birthday, mom. We miss mm-hmm. you. So, you um, can be like Carol Burnett. Tug the- <laughs> uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah. So, uh, Allison, you want to lead us in a word of prayer? Sure. Um, gracious God, uh, Thank you for this wonderful team that we have and um, just the fun that we're able to have amidst all the stuff that's happening. But um, we're grateful for all the wonderful activities that are happening right now and grateful for all the good people who are making them happen. So we also pray for all those who are hurting in uh, in pain, suffering, struggling, um, just going through hard times. We pray for our crazy world and that we actually have to have trainings like the Alice training that we're going to have. Um, we just, uh, may we continue to open our hearts and minds and doors to our community and to be a place of compassion and love. And we ask this prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Okay, well, only thing left we have is uh, come join us online in person <laughs> Sunday mornings, yes. 930. <laughs> we, I like the way you come join us. <laughs> yeah, just come join us. And uh, we would love to see you, meet you, say hi. Uh, we are at 6414 Brace Road in Loomis, California. And um, we have our website that's going to pop up on the screen. Go find us there. There's links to Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, all the things. and. Um, we do have a live stream when it works. We didn't have, we had an issue last week again, but thanks to Victor for quick thinking and recording the service and uploading it afterwards. Yay, Victor. Uh, yay, Victor. Yay, Victor. Victor. And um, otherwise, that's it, I think. And again, sorry, we're a day late this week and always a dollar short, but. <laughs> One dollar? Yeah. Right. Uh, 15, 20. Yeah. Like Dollars? It. Dollar. But yeah. uh, there's a lot going on at the church. Come join us. I am looking forward to seeing you both on Sunday and everybody on Sunday. So, mm-hmm. Me too. Looking you forward good, to good seeing you rest of your both. weekend. And um, Friday. Love you both. Talk to you soon. Friday. Bye. Bye. Bye.